Okay, this isn't a particularly complex set of rules and um, it actually comes in two forms. You can uh, use what's called the, um, just bear with me a second, on they came, which will allow you to fight division or core sized actions for small engagements, which is what we're going to be looking at in this series of videos or you can use the crisis of allegiance which allows you to fight much much bigger sort of army size conflicts now the plane is six millimeter because these that's what these rules were designed for for back is six millimeters but um, you could actually play them for different scales but I won't get into that at the moment. They've all been based to standard Bacchus basing rules. Now, what it says is everything's measured in base widths. Now, I think that's just ridiculous and for, just a waste of time. I'm going to actually measure everything in inches. I'm assuming a base width is around an inch. It's, just, it's as near as damn it, to be honest. Types of units we have artillery batteries, commanders, cavalry, and infantry. They're also skirmishes, but they don't have their own bases, they're sort of like built into the unit. So, if you see this unit here, those guys up in the first rank represent the skirmishes. Troop quality is important in this game. Um, and they vary from raw all the way through to elite. Now, raw troops are untrained, unwilling, or militias. Trained uh, troops have undergone training. Uh, they can change formation and open fire without falling into confusion. Um, state militias, most volunteers and regulars. You've got veterans which are pretty much trained troops have actually been in combat before. And then you've got elite troops who, who think the other deservedly are very, very good or that they think very highly of themselves. They may never have even been in battle before. Now, all the troops I'm going to do on both sides are going to be counted as trained you need to designate your skirmish capabilities for your units. Um, these can be zero for raw formations, one formations of effective skirmish support, and two experience many veteran formations. Now I'm going to set my skirmishes capability for, as one for all units in this game. You do recommend that if you're using different types of units is to mark them with coloured markers in some way to say red for veterans, white for raw, black for elite and you could also have skirmish, yellow for zero, green for two but since everybody's going to be rated the same in this battle I'm not actually uh, bothering to use coloured markers.